A wise man in the beautiful Forbidden City who gives the young emperor a cricket. This is a very important and very touching image in the film. Some facts about the production. In many scenes, there were more than 19,000 extras used for crowd shots, including members of the People's Liberation Army. Costume designer James Atchison utilized more than 9,000 costumers to make all of the fantastic wardrobe that you'll see on your screen, not to mention all the intricacies of filming the production. So now the world broadcast premiere on television of The Last Emperor. We're here at the KSCH studios again with Victor Wong, one of the stars of The Last Emperor. Victor, a pleasure to have you here. We've just seen on the screen a wonderful scene with a cricket. Tell us about the shooting of that sequence. Well, I've got costumes like this, you know, and they've just shaved my head off. I'm totally bald. And then they handed me this cricket, which is about three inches high. I'm scared of that. Oh, well, I mean, because I'm afraid of the cricket. The cricket's afraid of me. The first time I opened it, it jumped up, and I had to catch it. You know? And so for, for hours, I talked to him people around me they kept saying well now get this kind of leaf and they would go somewhere and pick up some leaf the cricket was a love this because all the old men had crickets for pets and so i talk on the talk of this and then at jones and they, they shoot the thing i'm giving it to the little kid he's scared of it too i open the thing up the thing pops up looks around at the kid and started walking around the thing like he knew that he was on camera it was the most amazing thing everybody looking around saying Wow, we thought this thing is going to jump 10 feet high. We'll never catch it, you know, but... So in one take, you, you really made it, a fabulous was, scene. It, it was just like uh, how the picture came out. It was just totally, everything was a miracle. It just worked um, like this. I, I was looking at that scene, and perhaps some of you were too, thinking they must have shot that 40 times to get oh, that right. Oh, no, it was a one-take deal. It was, one it was amazing. Amazing. The cricket knew he was on. <laughs> now back to The Last Emperor on KSCH. We're back with Victor Wong here during the screening of The Last Emperor on KSCH. Now, the political situation in China must have been very unique when you were shooting the picture. Oh, yes. Every morning, you know, just before dawn, they pick us up and we go down the main street toward Tiananmen Square. And right there, Tiananmen Square, we make the right turn because that's the forbidden city. Every day we go there, you know, uh, and inside we would work all day long. And with wonderful people of a nation that looked like it was just beginning to to come forward into the 20th century and all of a sudden last june you know this terrible thing happened just went and the country just went like that and i could i just couldn't believe it our being there was just like almost like alice in wonderland the symbol of, of things to come the fact that the production company was there really shooting in the forbidden city oh, that must have been an incredible experience absolutely i mean we were given carte blanche to go in there into the inner sanctum you know where for centuries the the, the rulers of china you know uh, ruled the country and and to see the art there was just oh just incredible a three thousand year old society's art not as in our country is only 300 years old and, and seeing art that was not seen by the people of china but only by the emperor and his yeah. immediate immediate family absolutely amazing we'll return with victor wong as we watch the Last Emperor on KSCH. Back with Victor Wong here in the KSCH studio. Victor, what are you going to keep with you as a memory of, from this spectacular production? I, I think the most important thing is, is the people themselves. I mean, the, the people that I had dealings with. I mean, the Chinese. See, here in this country, we're, we're very Americanized. But in China, this is the real thing. I mean, it was the first time I've ever been there you're talking to the cab driver or the people who worked in the movie, the grip, the dolly, uh, you know, the person, uh, the, the light man, or the people at the hotel, or the people. I, I spent a lot of time walking through Beijing. It was just amazing to, to just to see how people live, how people relate to one another. When somebody falls down, you know, how everybody go and pick them up, and, uh, and how little children were so contented at that time. So that's what I'm carrying with me forever. Fabulous. Victor, thanks so much for joining us here at KSCH for the broadcast premiere of The Last Emperor.